brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Lizzie kicks us off in Austin, Texas. Lizzie, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for taking my call. I just found out I was um, pregnant with a Howard Miracle baby back in on Friday. Wow! Wow. Wait a second. How why how is this a miracle baby? Give us the story. Because unfortunately, we've had two miscarriages in the past thirteen months. Oh. And we were actually going to start doing IVF. We'll save up for IVF, but we actually got back into the SPU, and we're like, you know what? We're going to put that to the side and let's just tackle all the debt because we have an overwhelming amount of debt, mm. um, mainly business debt. But because everything is personal collateral, I just think it's all personal debt anyway. You sure. would be correct. You're right. Your name's on it. Well, congratulations. It's exciting. I haven't even told my husband because I don't even know. I feel like I can't even be excited. You told that. us before okay. your husband? You told you, you, you told these two clowns and millions of other people before him? I hope he's in a hole somewhere safely that he can't hear this. When do you plan on telling him? I'm planning to tell him for Christmas because I do want to, I have been doing the blood work and everything just to make sure everything's going good and that um, we don't have an unfortunate event again. I don't think this is a good idea. I I don't think it's a good idea to put this out there on the show and then wait until Christmas to tell him. I'd sit him down tonight with a smile on your face and say, listen, I know we've been through a lot. You're not going to believe this, but here you go. I feel like we should conference call him in and tell him right now. I, that's what I think. Yeah, I wouldn't wait for the Maury moment for him to go, you are the father. <sighs> yeah. I'd go ahead and tell him now. <laughs> okay, But well, that's just two guys' opinion. I, I'm actually going to meet him here probably in about an hour before he goes into work. Yeah, um, that's a lot for you to carry. That's like a, your little secret Sweetheart, for the next 10 days. You have, a listen, long time. I, I, I want to get to the debt stuff, but I've got to say, you have got to tell him today before he gets into the office. You can't. You got, I feel guilty. Like, I'm, I'm a mess right now. Our live studio audience is in a gap. They They're don't know what to out. do either. Don't you all feel like I? So we should tell this guy. I can't bear this. This burden is too heavy. <laughs> the, the funny thing is, too, is that he predicted it about three weeks ago, and I'm like, no, there's no way, and it's too soon anyway. And turns out he was right. Well, that's when you sit him down and say, hey, this guy called his shot. Hey, honey, your crystal ball was correct. <laughs> You'll never believe it. Okay, this listen. is the craziest thing that's ever happened to me on the show, George. That's pretty wild. All right. Well, it's an honor that you trusted us with this secret let me, and let me millions of myself. listeners. Let me gather myself, well, Lizzie. The, the Tell reason us- I feel like we can't be excited, or I can't be excited, is because we have fifty thousand, fifty point five thousand um, in personal, like personal bill debt. On top of that, we have six hundred fifty one point five thousand dollars of business debt that is all tied to our personal. Oh my god! What kind of business debt is it? Construction debt, and it's um, anywhere from credit cards to to personal loans to uh, the. 80% of it is probably friends and family. Oh, I say boy. friends and family, but honestly, it's more like loan sharks. <laughs> well, it sounds like your friends and family oh, made a those bad aren't investment. Friends. Uh, is so, this business still afloat? Is it doing well? Where is it? It, it is doing well in the sense of, like, so, it, and it's combined debt of my business with my ex business, which is also um, a construction business, but I keep wanting to sit them down. That, that's the other issue, too, is that I keep wanting to sit them down and talk numbers, but it just ends up being a big ordeal. Or we get into an argument, and we just can't seem to come eye to eye, and I've showed them, like, the plan of what I... Because uh, I, we started doing FPU again, and I'm doing the everyday dollar. Not only I got the everyday Black Friday deal, um, a dollar Black Friday deal for the personal finances, and then on top of that, I'm also doing it for the business. Uh, so I got two, two of them. What is the and then, what's the household income? The household income for just my husband and I, with his W two income, my W two income, and the business income is about eighteen thousand three hundred a month. A month. A month. And that's gross. And that's gross. That's what we take home. Yes. Okay. Are you guys paying your taxes? Are you putting money aside for that? How's that working? So, and that's the other thing, uh, included in the in the numbers I gave you that we're in debt, I'm assuming right now we probably owe about fifteen to $16,000 worth of taxes. Okay, that's going to go to the file. top of the oh debt snowball. Oh, my gosh. 
That's going to be the first thing you pay off is the IRS debt. And then we're going to continue on down, smallest to largest balance. This is going to be years and years of sacrifice. Uh, one quick question on this. You said W2, W2. So d- this company that's got the $600,000 in debt, is that separate from your day jobs, your normal jobs? So that's separate from our day jobs. My husband already works 14 to 16 hour days, six days a week. And I do the same thing on top of that. On top of that, I, I'm like exhausted. that's including me managing the construction company. Um, who's who's working I, for you? When you say manage the construction company and you're working 14 to 16 hour days, who are you managing? I am managing. We have a group of, I, we used to, well, I own one, I used to have about 15 people. I cut it down to about eight. Uh, I weeded out the people that I feel like I, instead of making me money, it, I'm putting, I'm putting money to. Like, okay. Um, so you're like a general contractor, essentially. I'm a general contractor. Yes. And you're, and you're both working 14 to 16 hours a day. Correct. Is there any collateral that you guys could sell as part of this business? Equipment? Is it real estate? Yeah. This is going to take a decade to get out of it this rate. Well, um, I, did, I crunched the numbers, and if my if I put 12500 towards the business debt, and my dad puts 12500 towards the business debt, we'll be done in 28 months. Wait, However, your dad is half partner in all of this? Well, the, the 651, half of it is his. However, well, I say his... Rhetoric, I don't want to, what's the correct word? Because at the end of the day, it's under my name. The, out of that, probably only 20% is under his name. So no matter what, I have to pay. But he's paying half. This is like a common core math question, Lizzie. We got to <laughs> sort this all out, and I'm excited for the baby, but you're right. We got a mess on our hands. It's going to take some drastic choices for probably five to 10 years to clean this up. But I hope it's faster than that. We are wishing you guys the best. Congrats on the baby. Tell him today. Please don't let him find out from this show. This is The Ramsey Show. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.